Hello and welcome back. We are back at the scene editor for Mounted Blade and Bannerlord and we are going to continue a little more on our map today. So first we open up our map. Let's see if we can find it. It might take a few moments to load your map depending on the size and uh, the terrain and the amount of textures you have added. So today I'm going to show you how you add borders to your map. And it's actually quite easy. But first I'm going to talk about some follow-ups I left out last time. So for floral painting it's much better to do like we did in episode 2 where we created a texture and applied uh, flora meshes uh, on top of it. It's much better for optimization and uh, no one really wants a, a lacky map. Of course you can still add a few trees but if you're gonna make a forest uh, this is the right way to do it. Uh, I've also been getting a little questions how you move uh, an entity like this when you have already placed it. So I'm going to try and add some entity that we will move around a little. So let's find, let's just find another bridge here. So we hold down the Z key again and uh, the T to move it up. And um, that actually fits pretty well. Let's try something like that. So we place it. And uh, now let's say you want to move this uh, because we don't want it there, but maybe down the river instead. So you select the uh, select entities and uh, then you can click on it. If this doesn't show, you have to press T. Uh, which allows you to move it up and down. If you uh, have trouble doing that, you can also hold down N and uh, it will do the same job. Now, if we want to rotate it, it's the same like before. You can uh, press Z, X or Z and you can uh, move it around by uh, clicking one of these um, colored arches and uh, dragging it. Pretty easy. So that's just a, a little follow-up. Now the way you add uh, map borders is actually pretty easy because it's also entities. So you click on add entities and uh, we don't really want to look through all these. Right now I uh, have selected these. So it doesn't always uh, work when you'd have to reset. I don't know why, but let's try and I think it did. All right, so you can actually search for uh, entities here if that's necessary, uh, which in this case it is because we are gonna need the border and we click away and there's a border heart. Uh, I don't recommend to use that. I'm not sure if it works. Uh, for all the banner load scenes I've seen, they always use border soft. So we are gonna uh, add this and uh, figure out where we want our map to end. Now let's say we want something like here, from here perhaps. So right now you can't actually see the border, but it's gonna create a border. Um, you go up to the visibility window and you have to uh, make sure you can actually see the borders. Uh, when you load up your map, you can see them. So if you can't see your borders, go up to the visibility window and make sure you have a, a checkbox uh, activated for borders. Anyway, let's continue. So that's gonna be the border. We don't want them to actually get to this side of the river. So. I placed a little border uh, down there and uh, 
You can already see that it's automatically creating this red wall. And uh, you know from uh, the base game that if you cross this red wall, you have these uh, 10 uh, seconds to get back uh, before you actually leave the map and uh, lose the battle or whatever scenario it is. So you just click and um, it automatically creates this um, border wall. Um, it can be a little tricky to figure out where each uh, each little entity is placed. I don't know what it did there. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Is that a bug? That looks a little weird. I thought I placed a, a, a soft border out there, but uh, apparently I didn't. Um, so yeah, let's say we have the, our borders now for this map. Um, so this is where things are gonna be played out. Now, if you want to move your border a little, you can just uh, select it like any entity. Uh, so from what I told you before, uh, that's a problem. You just have to press T and then you can actually move the border in, um, in any direction you want, pretty much. Uh, if you don't want it to go uh, right this way or this way, you can also drag in the, the colored boxes to drag it um, pretty much wherever you want. And you could do the same thing up and down. Um, yeah, so let's say that's about it. Now we could also say that we don't want uh, players to uh, cross this bridge at all. So um, maybe we want to add a barrier so they can't uh, cross the bridge here. So let's try and do that just for the sake of it. Uh, again, it's a little easier to search. So we have a very small one there. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, that will do the job. So barriers are pretty simple actually. Uh, you can uh, cross from the green side, but not from the red side. So uh, in some maps, it would make sense to be able to access from one side but perhaps not the other like uh, a siege perhaps where attackers can walk up ladders but defenders can't walk down them so that could be uh, an example so let's say we don't want uh, anyone to actually be able to move into or uh, go across this bridge just place it and uh, of course you can um, move it up and down and so forth. Now you can also create uh, barriers with uh, paths, but I'm probably gonna go into that uh, at some point later. Now, uh, a lot of you have been uh, asking a lot of questions if I will do some tutorial on certain things and I will. I have also promised to go a little more into how you create a mountain and I think we should try and do that in another program called World Machine and then we are going to export a height map 
and material maps and I'm going to show you how you import height maps to the scene editor and how you import uh, material maps and how much better looking it can be than uh, a mountain we create within the scene editor. So I'm gonna go into that at some point and uh, next video I'm gonna keep my promise and uh, tell you a little more about how you blend textures and you can also change uh, colors. Uh, I will also do it for um, perhaps not this bridge but perhaps we add a little house over here and you want it to look different I can also show you how you change those textures um, what else yeah there's the whole um, mesh blending of course uh, I'm also going to show you one of the maps I've created and we're going to give it a little test run to see if everything works uh, I've already done this so I know it does uh, eventually I'm going to show you how you can export your map, whatever it is, and uh, how you can test it in uh, custom battles. We're going to go into spawn points and pretty much everything else eventually. Uh, how you add uh, fire, blood, whatever on your map. Um, what else? atmosphere of course um, what else could we talk about perhaps a little about scripts eventually and of course the navigation mesh I'm gonna show you how you do it manually and also how you do it uh, with auto generate parameters um, the developers always recommend you do it uh, manually and I've just done it for a map for a uh, Rohan battlefield but it took a very very long time um, so I wouldn't really recommend that I would recommend to use the auto generated one and make sure you edit it because it's far from perfect but it's much faster for most scenes I think that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching and uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.